Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I, I haven't done a video for a while. It's been about two weeks now. But my car, the EJ EK Civic, we'll just call it EJ, save time, done it. Wasn't running right. But we did get the revs down. Now, as you can see here, I have a it's more like a how-to video, I suppose. But I have another throttle body here. And this throttle body has the same issue what the other throttle body that's on the car now had. The idle control valve, which is this thing here, stuck. It stuck open. I don't know if you can see there's like a little flap in there. Now basically, that attaches to the throttle body there, which is four 8mm sockets. Easy enough to do. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Now, see in there, in here, so all the carbon builds up. When that builds up in there, it also builds up in here. And I know the lighting's very poor, but you can see that there? And in here, there's two screws, flat um, star screwdrivers. But if you undo them, hang on, reach there pulls off now what's supposed to happen is that the little valve in there is meant to move but as you can see no matter how hard I try and twist it doesn't want to play ball so it's just a little video now to for you all for everyone, anyone who's got a Honda Civic 1.4 who stuff was with idle control problems i.e. idle problems so this is just a little bit on how to I suppose um, but yeah I'll show you quickly how to clean that up so put that there so you can see what I'm doing oh so we need air intake and carbon cleaner powerful to do it seven pound a tin not expensive and all you do I'm not going to spray it at my phone, but you see that, that little nozzle here, this thing here, spray all that. I need a few squirts, let, you know, let it soak in. I'm going to also spray in this top one here, that's where the flap is, the idle, the, I'm going to call it the idle flap. Best thing I can say, you know. And it should have, square it in there. But this is what I did on the other throttle body on my car and it should there we go look look at that stiff as anything but it's still stiff but look oh it's dripping on the floor you hear it it now moves so fucking hell and it should be able to open I know you can't really tell but it's meant to open all the way so you just work it and then, I mean, this is this was a clean cloth that I used on the one that's on my car at the minute. As you can tell, very, very, <coughs> very dirty. And as well, do this outside because it's very, very strong. It's half ten at night, and I just thought I'd do a little how-to video on how to clean your idle control valve, or really, for your Honda Civic. So yeah, you just get right in, right in there. And obviously you haven't got to really wipe that because you can't get in. But listen. You see you can see it now. It moves. That didn't move before. And it doesn't matter where you put it, if you can leave it open, you can leave it closed. <coughs> and as well, <coughs> cleaning that one. As well, because it goes in and comes out, I think. Could be wrong, or it could go in here, then out of that one. So as well, just give that a bit of a spray. Also have some rag on the floor because you're not going to be able to get your fingers in half of it. You need to dab it out, like that. Your cloth, I know people are going mad because I've used a microfiber cloth, but oh well. You know, get your finger in the best you can, because you want to give it a good clean. 
I mean, I wish I knew this in the beginning, but you learn these things as you go along, I suppose, and it helps when people find out what it is to uh, let you guys know as well. I mean, you could think this is a shit video. There's no featured cars in this video. It's more of a how-to. Clean your Honda Civic EJ or EK or... You know, they're all pretty much the same, really. So, yeah, give that a good clean. And as you can see, it catches a bit. But again, I'll just use this as a secondary throttle body. Or set it on if I need, you know, whatever. But yeah, that now moves freely. Freely as a whistle. So that's that bit done. That's the th idle control valve done. And as well, what I noticed on mine, which is on the car, is where the uh, throttle cable sits. This thing here. Use the stick. Again. Covered it with that. But, as you can see, on here, there's like a little gasket inside of here. Little gasket in here. I mean, you just could throw caution to the wind. And just buy a whole new idle control valve for it, seven pound. It's a lot cheaper to buy the carb cleaner than it is an idle control valve. So take the little rubber gasket out, put it one side, and again, it's gonna be really poor lighting. But I try and get a better. You see, I'll try and point. See the tip of my finger? There's a hole. Too dark, you can't see it. There's a hole here. Spray in there, and then spray in that bottom one. That's where all the carb is, carbon and stuff. But I'd just say spray all, all, all in the holes you can get. You know, spray all in there. Spray all, all in there. I'll show you how and what I mean. So you know what to do when yours, or if yours does do it. They're, they're a common fault with these Honda Civic CJs, 1.4s. And as well, I've had to learn out and find out myself. I've had a few guys look at the car. But I took that off. Cleaned all that out. And as you can tell on this one, it moves freely. Which is what you want. Now don't, like I said, don't worry about it if it's still wet. If you put it on the car, the car might backfire a little bit, but you know, I'm sure half your cars pop from bang flames and all that anyway. So don't really know if this does it. So again, get your, your spray. Oh, well done. But it does lift it completely off. Wow. This one, this one's worse than what's on the car now. I wish you could see. Look. That puddle, oh, hang on. That puddle there, here look, is all the crap. That has just come out. This bit here has just come out of this the throttle body. Now that's causing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Causing your problems. Well, that is bad. That's quite dirty. Again, get your rag or microfiber cloth that I'm using. This holds the dirt better, I suppose. And, you know, you get them from Alfred's cart, you know, you. Your um, microfiber cloths. It's not the end of the world, is it? It's horrible. You know, if you can't get your finger in, I would say use a cotton board on a stick. It's getting only the nitty gritty bits, depending on how fast you're on cleaning your throttle body out. But yes, clean all that out. Again, wiggle about in that hole. I mean, it's a bigger improvement than what it was. It's not half bad. Oh wow, so black. Yeah, just clean it all out, the best you can. And as well, wider meter, is when you put it back on your car, you have to disconnect your battery for 10 minutes. Not 10 seconds or, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes. And then put the battery back on, obviously the terminal, I mean not literally take the battery off. But, um, you know, so the ECU can reset itself and then take it for a drive. Because the car has to relearn idling and revving, so take it for a good run. And what I noticed on mine, 
is that the revs dropped to zero. And I was like, ooh, bit of a blip of the accelerator. Run again. But yeah, this is more of a how-to video on cleaning your auto control out, out for a Honda Civic. I'm sure the Integras and Accords and all of the stuff might be the same. I'm not 100% sure. But obviously, I don't own one. But in there, shit lighting. But oh yeah, look, as you can see, so much cleaner. And now, I'm going to clean them holes out. Mainly that one, but you can see light through there now, and you couldn't before. So, give it a whirl. Oh, stay black. That is bad. You know, seven pound. A few minutes out of your day. Don't hurt nobody now, does it? You know what I mean? I know it's a long-winded video. Probably should edit it. But if I edit it, you wouldn't see, you know, me cleaning it out and hopefully this, this helps you, you know, helps you to be like, that might be what's up with my car. And if it is up with your car, you think, oh, because some videos, they, 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 don't, they don't really tell you what to do. They just, oh, you want this, you want this, they spray it, clean it, put it back together and go, oh, job done. Nah. And as well, when you're cleaning out, I mean, I'm not going to do a proper job of this one today, or well, tonight, because it's late. <laughs> this stuff is strong. But it's just a little tutorial at the minute. Then you want to clean out in here as well, where the flap is. I wish I could turn the camera around on this phone, but you don't let me. For some reason. But all you want to do is literally, if you can see, squirt in there. Squirt in there, like that, and then work, work the flap, work it, and then you want to clean all around in here, and you want to open the flap to its fullest, like that, and clean the lip of the flap, the well, the butterfly, should I say, sorry, clean it, clean it, clean it in there, clean it. Obviously that way as well, you know, give it a good old, you know, give it a good wipe. And when it's come up clean, I mean, if you look, for example, if you can see in there, I don't know if you can see in there, it's black. Look, I mean, look at that, bit of a square, and it's got dirt running off of it now. It's horrible. Absolutely disgusting. Clean it off. Oh, where's my camera now? But yeah, that's then obviously why, you know, obviously wipe it in there. Give it a good clean. I, I got told it was map sensor, it were Whatever this sensor here is, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, just just clean that out where the carbon dioxide carbon goes, carbon buildup goes through. Clean, clean the idle control valve out because you'll find that this will stick open. It should move freely like it is now. So what you gotta do, man? Carbon in that spray carb cleaner in here and all in here and in here. Clean it out so that moves freely. Use a cloth, microfiber cloth, whatever you want to use to clean it. And then where it sits on the housing of the throttle body, we're gonna clean out there and in there and also in here as well. And in here, remember, open the butterfly. Clean all inside the throttle body, clean the edge of the butterfly, top and obviously in there. And all you do is get your gasket, put it back in, sits back in, and then, I ain't bothered about that in a minute. You want to get your idle control valve with your sensor, 
and it'll, 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 be, it'll be magnetized so you'll feel it connect because on my one the one I did for my car wasn't magnetized until I cleaned it here yeah, should I put a belt in no I've said I put someone on back on the car because I've got one on the car and worked so yeah lost the end of my screwdriver like I said you know I'm not gonna edit anything out because it's real life and you can't swear because YouTube don't like you swearing. If I can't find that fishing screwdriver, I'll go all the swearing. Oh, there it is. Half tell it night, I'm doing this for you guys. Because I know how much it got on my nerves. And why me and a few friends couldn't figure out what was going on with the car. Until I decided Saturday, just gone, to have a bit of a investigation or work to find out why it wasn't working then obviously you just screw this back up oh you know glad my fingers weren't there screw it back on i mean you could do what i've done for my throttle body you don't have to do it but i did because i wanted to my car, I like to look after my car. Now it's running, I can start playing with it and changing stuff. I'm going to go to a body shop soon to get the front end repainted because I don't like the black bonnet. And the wings are horrible. So I need sorting out. I mean, probably some of you watch my videos and think, what a joke, what a laugh this guy is. But I'm just doing it for the love, love of cars and helping other people out. But yeah, you do this up tight when you get to the end remember when you put this back on make sure all the sensors are plugged back in and everything's on right but this one isn't sticking but <laughs> found out the flap on here was as you can see you can actually see in there now it's lovely and clean that one ain't because I'm, I ran out of cotton buds and I can't quite get in there. <coughs> that stung. So then, yeah, that's on. All me. Oh, pissing out. What are my gaskets in there? But I don't know about the gone now. It's vital not to lose your gasket. I'm not 100% sure if you can find separate or not for these. I don't know if they come as a kit or or what. Okay, now where's that gone? You probably watch the video back and see it flying across across the camera. But um, yeah, that wasn't very good, was it? Oh well, I've lost that. I'll find it tomorrow. Oh well. But yeah, you know what to do now. I've explained it, you know. Take it off your throttle body. When you've got it off your throttle body, you want a Phillips screwdriver. Take that sensor off. So you two screws, look. Take that sensor off. With that sensor off, there'll be like a metal pin. It should be moving freely. If it's not moving freely, Want carb cleaner from Halfords? I think it was seven pound. Not, not the world, is it? Clean it all out, and yes, it is still open, like the other one was. So I was like, but when it's back on the car, you've disconnected the battery for ten minutes to reset the ECU. You plug it back in, you go for a drive. Trust me, mine works now, and I'm having got bored with it. Where's that basket gone? But yeah, that was pretty much on a how-to quick video, really, of how to change. Not change, but how to clean out your throttle body. Now the camera's gone a bit funny. That gasket's gone for a walk about. Flaming thing. But I'll put it back together. So I'm not going to use this one. But I will find the gasket. 
If I don't find it, I'm sure my mother will. If she finds it, she'll bin it. <laughs> but yeah. And obviously, obviously you have to make sure you put it on the right, the right way around. If you don't, and start your car up, it'll be a bit of a leak. It will be revving its boobs off. Initially, put your bolts back in. You watch half this video, I'll find that gasket. <laughs> Typical, innit? Ooh. So, yeah. I mean, you can clean them all up with the carb cleaner. Get in. Straightforward. I know it's not a six minute video, quick on how to clean it. But I'm sure some people who aren't mechanically minded needs you know a bit 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 longer video of how to do something i mean i know we all need help from time to time you know i've asked for help and i'm not ashamed to ask for help so I'm, i don't know everything nobody knows everything about cars even the greatest of the greats ask for help so you know i've tightened all this up stopped recording i'll find that gasket but yeah that's pretty much it really we have got Fast Show, 2nd of April. Then you've got Honda Days at Rockingham Raceway at the 23rd of April. And then you've got Jack Fest, I think it's Jack Fest, on the 30th of April at Santa Pod. Which I might go to that one. Um, up and coming things for my car are a splitter. Get the front end paint, well the whole car needs repainting. I'll try to do that over time, of course. Um, spoiler, definitely need better wheels. Because I like the, the grown on me, but they're not, it's not the look I'm going for for the car, if I say so. And there you go, it's back on. As you can see, four bolts, one, two, three, four, undo them. Now what I did on mine is I bought some sealant and put it around around the edges of here. People might say, oh you shouldn't be doing that. Ugh. I don't care. I, mean, I don't want any more crap to get in there and I've got to take it apart again to clean it. But this throttle body now should be a runner. So we'll find out somehow. Probably put it on my car. Give it a go when I find that basket. But sorry, I posted for a while, so I've, I've, I've had things to do and things have come up. You know how it is with life. But yeah, a bit enough about that basket. The last one. But yeah, it was a how-to video on how to clean your idle control valve out on your Honda Civic EJEK. Yeah. Pretty much it really. Like I said, go for it, disconnect the battery for 10 minutes, go for a drive, and you should find it idles better. So I should idle where it's idling at, because the car, as I've been told, has to relearn itself on the whole idle thing. So again, don't think, oh, it's not working. It will work. Trust me, mum, as people who've seen in my videos will know, for them, I've, I've had the car a month and it, I've only got it fixed last Saturday. No, sorry, this Saturday. <laughs> Who would have known a small little thing like that could cause so much of a headache and money and time and stress. <laughs> yeah, that's the car done. But yeah, I'm trying to get more reviews on cars, but again, I haven't really done much for about two weeks because Again, being ill, work, or well, don't you love work? <laughs> but yeah, that's a how-to video on how to clean your audio control valve on your throttle body for your Honda Civic. So stay tuned, so I'll probably do another video when I get the splitter, if it, if it turns up in one piece, because we all know what eBay is like with posters and stuff. <coughs> oh, stuff's strong. But yeah, remember, if you spray that stuff, do it outside. Don't do it indoors because it will knock your flipping tits off. I'm telling you. <laughs> right, cheers for watching, guys.
And if you like the video, thumbs up. If not, oh well, leave a comment below. Yeah, that's it. Sound.